I have a couple of YouTube channels. I'm also involved in politics. I'm off the USS Enterprise. I'm a retired veteran now, and uh, I'm subsequently uh, involved with the State Department. I bought in an appliance, a GE dehumidifier off you folks, okay? And not too long ago, I got myself in trouble over at Lowe's over two different other types of appliances. One was a weed whacker and a lawn tractor that started once and never ran again. And they refused to take them back. So then I backed my truck over two lawn tractors to prove my point how pissed off I am. And again, I find myself dealing with Lowe's with the purchase of this dehumidifier, which was purchased on Monday, uh, November 23rd of this year, 2020. And I subsequently bought it online because I tried to avoid going in that store after the uh, shitstorm that I caused over there. And uh, the police weren't too happy with me either. But anyway, I have this dehumidifier. It does not work. It's brand new. It's out of the box. I just picked it up, uh, you know, back there like a day or two before Thanksgiving. Uh, I've now shut down on my holiday weekend here. And what I'm dealing with is I'm getting one phone number and the runaround on this appliance because Lowe's does not take back online purchases. They give me your phone number. Your lines all connect and tell me 1-800-EAT-SHIT, return it to the store. Okay, so now during this live podcast, this is GE Appliances, and your name's Matisha? Marticia. Okay, Marticia. All right, so I'm doing a podcast here. I have about 53 people joining me so far. Uh, when I light up, usually people, they listen to me. How do we solve an issue like this? Because I was just on hold for over an hour listening to your bing a bong a music uh, for your consumer relations uh, division, and nobody picked up the phone. Is this how you guys treat and thank us veterans? We spend um, hundreds of dollars I on... Um... Well, I get these shit-ass, low-down, meaningless apologies from everybody. It doesn't help me. You're treating me, the consumer, like shit. Do you understand? I served my country, I bled blood for my country, and everybody I do business with is a slimy little Chinese toad. Okay, this is America. We don't do business like this. Is this how GE is going to treat its customers? Once again, I do apologize about that. If you're looking to return your item... Well, unfortunately, I can't speak with. Well, they will not take the appliance back. Okay, so you have a problem with your distributor. Let me also tell you what I found at Lowe's not too long ago. I took about 14, 15 appliances and I wrote down the VIN numbers on the back, the serial numbers, the model numbers, and all of those appliances. Some of them were GE. They actually had recall notices on them, but yet they're selling them new in the, block, the box. Is that why they're not taking this stuff back? Is that why they're screwing me like this and you? You guys no, goddamn... I don't, I don't work below, so I'm not sure why they're not able to replace it for you. Well, you're goddamn well the distributors of those appliances, and you know there's recalls on them, and yet the stores are still selling them. You're just as culpable as this Lowe's is. I'm not a moron. I'm an engineer. I got two doctorates, two master's degrees. I'm an engineer off a flight wing, for a flight wing, off of an aircraft carrier. I ascended to my position because I got a triple digit IQ. You're making a total ass out of me. And that's why I'm putting this out in a podcast. Okay? So other people can see on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, just how GE and how slimy you folks are. All I want is a working appliance. Now, how do we solve this? Well, unfortunately, they don't answer their phone. Well, I do apologize. You do have the option to leave a callback number, sir. I left a callback number. Nobody's contacted me. How long ago did you leave a callback number? I left it with the person I spoke to that transferred me. And that's the other thing I wanted to say during the podcast. GE's Consumer Relations does not have a phone number that you can call them. Why do I have to call... Well, sure, I got about a dozen phone numbers and nobody ha nobody's helped me yet. I've got 1-800-432-2737, 1-800... That is my number. Mm -hmm. that 626 200 Yeah, I have one 813 3537 I mean, I got about a dozen phone numbers here. 
866-907-1655. Nobody's helped me yet. What is the direct number to Consumer Relations? It is 1-800-386-1655. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jones? Well, when I called that, they told me it wasn't Consumer Relations. It is Consumer Relations, and I'll be more than happy to transfer you over as well. Well, how about if we get somebody on the phone there? I mean, can we do that during a live podcast? Tell them on the air. Because I, 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 actually, I'm due in Washington. i got to leave in about an hour. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff breaking loose in Washington, D.C., and I have to be there. I can't, you know, that's the thing is I can't do two things at once. My lifestyle's not structured that way, sweetheart. That's why I said when you treat your customers like this, like I'm some kind of lazy slob that lays in bed and waits for you people to call, you know what we say? Where I come from in Dallas, Texas, we say, kiss my ass. All right, sir. Well, with that language, is there anything else I'm able to assist with? How about that? Well, let's see if we can get. How about how about if we see we? Well, GE appliances continue to hold, please. I've been on hold since eight o'clock this morning. And as you can see, we're going to go on the music again, and nobody's going to pick up the phone. And that, my friends, is how GE talks to you with music they don't solve the problem you buy something brand new new in the box from them like a dehumidifier that's the uh, serial number I'm enjoying my bad habit that's what happens that's why I can't quit smoking bing it a bong it a bing it a bong -a. That's how GE treats you. They bring good things to light, don't they? Please hold for the next available agent. And I'll be like this in over another hour. <laughs>